passport, when fully developed in four phases, will be the world's single largest container port capable of handling up to 65 million 20-foot equivalent unit annually. From planning to implementation, Thwasport will be a resilient port. It provides a single consolidated location for Singapore's container activities, which significantly reduces inter-terminal haulage operations and GHG emissions. Finger piers with Cation Quay wall were adopted to maximize limited land and sea space while creating 115 hectares more land. Coupled with long linear berths and design depth of 23 meter at charge datum, it can accommodate mega container ships exceeding 450 meter in length. A fab ground space will also be introduced, adding 240 hectare of space for port related uses. Sustainability is integral to the construction of Thwasport. To adapt to rising sea levels, Thwasport will have an operational platform of 5 meter above mean sea level. More than 50% of the total fill materials for phase 1 and 2 are dressed material and excavated earth from construction projects. Reusing such materials reduces the reliance on sand for reclamation and saves more than 2 billion Singaporean dollar in fill material cost. In order to protect marine habitats and sensitive commercial water index, environmental impact assessments were conducted to establish strict environmental quality objectives for compliance during the reclamation work. A six million Singaporean dollar program was implemented to relocate impacted corals together with nature, volunteers and non-governmental organizations and the relocated Coral's survival rate was 80%. Beyond the physical port, Thwas port will be a digital and automated port. Digital innovations such as Digital Port Singapore and Just-in-Time system will streamline vessel clearance process, enable just-in-time operations and improve the turnaround times of ships in the port. Automated and electric port equipment will improve productivity. Together with the Maritime Singapore Green Initiative, Thwas Port is well positioned to be the resilient port of the future. Thwas Port will occupy about 1,337 hectares of land when completed, which is approximately 3,300 football fields. There will be 66 berths spanning 26 km capable of handling the largest container ships. Thwasport, together with Singapore's International Maritime Center, will form a strong value proposition and ensure Maritime Singapore remains trusted, resilient and ready for the future. Thwas port was officially opened on 1st September 2022. At its target completion in the 2040s, Thwas port will have a handling capacity of 65 million 20-foot equivalent units, almost double the volume of 37.5 million 20-foot equivalent units handled in 2021. Thwas port will be the nexus of a well-integrated Thwas ecosystem covering the vibrant business and industrial districts in the western region, such as the Zurong Lake District, the Zurong Innovative District and the Thwas Industrial District. 
by co-locating complementary sectors that have high level of interactions with port related industries can tap on transport's global connectivity with greater ease and convenience unlocking supply chain synergies and generating more efficient trade flows transport will be an automated intelligent and sustainable port MPA is working with port operators to drive the adoption of digital technologies at the Port of Singapore. MPA is developing the next generation vessel traffic management system to provide accurate real-time situational awareness of the shipping traffic to enhance efficiency of port operations and reduce the turnaround time of the ship. Within Tuasport, versatile and maneuver variable electrified automated yard cranes and automated grid vehicles will be used for the transport of containers between the yard and the wharf. These port operations will be managed remotely from the Tuasport Control Center, freeing up resources while improving Port productivity and creating more higher value and good jobs for Singaporeans. Post operator PSA is working closely with technology partners to co develop advanced automation and digitalization solutions across multiple avenues, including cranes and AGVs with scalable designs for future growth and expansion as operation in Thorsport gradually scales up. PSA will also deploy a private 5G network to support 5G enabled AZVs and automated cranes at Thorsport and the current Pasir Panzang Terminal. In addition, PSA is exploring the future use of 5G in PSA Smart Grid 5 and cargo handling operations. PSA aims for transport to achieve net zero emissions by 2050. Besides electrified equipment and vehicles such as AGVs, which reduces carbon emission by about 50% compared to current diesel prime movers, PSA will also use a smart grid management system and construct green buildings. The Tuas Maintenance Base Administrative Building, a green mark platinum super low energy building certified by the Building and Construction Activity, and Tuas Ports first super low energy building uses 58% less energy compared to other similar sized buildings and is a net zero development as it generates enough solar energy to offset its electricity consumption. Thanks for watching this video till the end and to subscribe to the channel to get the latest update on construction videos.